on the All Local Morning News. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. And good morning to you. It is 4.30 on this Tuesday, June 23rd. I'm Jay Towers. I'm Antoinette Jamison. Thank you for joining us. Our top story this morning, Mother Nature. A confirmed tornado caused heavy damage in the city of Portland, northwest of Lansing yesterday. The twister packed winds up to 100 miles an hour. It tore into homes, churches, and businesses, scattering debris and knocking down trees. Amazingly, no one was hurt, but the scale of the damage was overwhelming. I was upstairs in my room and I had like all of my windows open so there was like wind coming through and at first I just thought it was really heavy rain and then I saw like one of the trees in our backyard like rip off and go to the middle of the road and uh, then it, it only lasted a few seconds like it didn't last that long. A Goodwill store collapsed during the storm. A mother and two children were trapped inside but were rescued without injury. Two people were also pulled from a nearby Rite Aid store that suffered damage. The National Weather Service is also investigating whether there were any tornadoes closer to Metro Detroit. Let's start in Sanilac County. Just after 10 o'clock, the Sheriff's Department reported a touchdown five miles north-northwest of the village of Decker. That's less than a half an hour later, a train spotter reported a touchdown northeast of, of the city of Deckerville. And shifting to Tuscaloosa. Tuscola County now, about 22 minutes after 10 last night, a tornado was reported by a local amateur radio roughly five miles west, southwest of Millington. There are reports of at least one home being destroyed. We're still working to find out if anyone was hurt there. A little closer now in Lapeer County, after 1040 last night, a train spotter reported seeing a funnel cloud about five miles east of the village of Columbiaville. And finally, closer to home in Washtenaw County, just after 1.30 this morning, a potential tornado was spotted east, northeast of Manchester. The Weather Service will send crews at first light to see if it can confirm all of these incidents. But the big question now, are we under the gun today? So Alan Longstreet joins us with some answers. Alan. Well, luckily, no. We are, uh, we're calming things down. <laughs> Good. Thankfully. After uh, a little, little long, loud night. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice little stretch of weather. We'll be dropping those dew points so less, uh, less humid before long, by afternoon. But I, I want to start with radar, which is a couple hours. Reports of a possible tornado touchdown in Manchester in Washtenaw County. Right now we have Mark Breckenridge, the Emergency Services Director for the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department, on the line with us. He's been working around the clock. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Jake. Thanks for being on with us this morning. We appreciate it. So, sure, first thanks. of all, what can you tell us about uh, a possible tornado? Well, uh, we think we uh, found uh, quite a bit of damage consistent with a tornado. Um, it happened about uh, 1.45 a.m. Uh, just following uh, the issuance of a tornado warning for southern Washtenaw County. And the uh, damage uh, was all reported uh, from uh, residences uh, in the Manchester area, actually about three miles north northeast of Manchester. And um, several um, uh, homes have been damaged, garages and uh, trees and power lines and so forth. And um, public safety personnel were able to get in there and uh, count for everybody and so everybody is safe. But it looks like it may have been a, uh, a very brief, uh, you know, a short track uh, tornado for about uh, two or three miles there just outside of Manchester. What type of what type of calls did you get overnight? What were some of the like the emergency calls coming in? Were they for were they for damage? Were they for injuries? Well, the the first um, reports we received were really uh, for flooding, and yeah. um, and a lot of uh, persons complained about the fre frequency of the lightning, which was really quite astounding. Um, but it was the flooding reports that came in first, and then. Um, we had some wind damage, some downed trees uh, uh, because a severe thunderstorm warning was issued and that's typical that we uh, receive reports like that. And then the tornado uh, uh, touchdown or the, the possible tornado touchdown uh, followed uh, uh, those initial reports down in Manchester. So if you're waking up early this morning in Washtenaw County and you have to get on the roads and, uh, and head out to work, uh, any, any advice? Are the roads passable and, and doing all right? Uh, yes, actually, I'm uh, right now in Ypsilanti. I've uh, taken a short tour around the county just to see how the roads are. They're uh, they're wet. They're a little uh, slippery. There is some ponding and standing water in some areas. Uh, we do have uh, low-lying areas that have uh, standing water and maybe even some minor flooding. Uh, there was a lot of rainfall. You know, on top of the the wind, uh, on top of the lightning, uh, uh, and and of course the potential tornado, the possible tornado. 
we think that we had a lot of rainfall that created some flooding and that's going to be the most important thing to be careful of this morning and what do you recommend for people in washington county if they need to make a phone call this morning to either report damage or something that isn't passable what should i mean obviously a non-emergency line if it's not an emergency well yeah they should notify the washington county road commission if it's a county or a state road or trunk line the road commission handles all of the transportation related issues related to our freeway and road system if there's a blockage of a road you know where there's a tree down and it hasn't been marked you don't have any uh any flags indicating that it's been called in any flares out or anything like that you should probably contact the non-emergency number for washington county which is 734-994-2911 mark breckenridge uh thank you so much for the information this morning and the update we appreciate it and stay safe out there thanks mark yes thank you okay and we want to thank eric tallman for covering that story we've got much more coverage and more stories about the severe weather in the midwest and also in southeast lower michigan as we continue to unfold a lot